Hey, what's up everyone? So we're in downtown San Francisco with my brother here who's a chiropractor and he's gonna get some x-rays for me. We're gonna do an adjustment and we're gonna basically be working on some structural issues that I've had after a number of sports injuries over the years. Yep, the first thing we wanna do, we're gonna take some neutral static x-rays. We're gonna take a basic six series. So we're gonna take three x-rays from the front, three from the side, to see exactly where his structure is at before we do any type of treatment so we can see exactly what's going on. Then we'll analyze those x-rays. And after that, we can make up a care plan specific to Rob's body. Sweet, thanks for inviting us, bro. Yeah, let's get out yeah. Son of a bitch. Come on in. Okay. And then... Send you up here, you can face out this direction. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Line it up. So yeah, essentially we're gonna take three extras from the front here, and then we'll turn you to the side, we'll take three extras from the side, and then we'll analyze from there. So looking at Rod's AP lumbar x-ray, and we can see that this is the right side, this is the left side, but we see that right here at, at L434 right here, he starts to bend over towards his left side here, and this, this bending in this side is what's creating some of that, uh, possibly some of that nerve issue and sciatica down his left leg, as well as some of the blood flow issues going into his left leg. We have him do a bend to the right, so he's bending his whole rib cage from the low lumbar to the right, and we see that he does have some mobility here, but it's mostly happening up here, and not exactly all down the spot we want. But then when we have him lay over on the blocks here, um, right at the bottom at L434, we see that when he lays over that apex, it opens up that joint space and he has more ability over that. So that'll be a great tool for him at home when he lays on his side. So we'll be able to get some, some good change there for home care. Right here, I'm just populating all the dots onto the vertebrae to get exactly uh, marking a uh, box around each vertebra. And then once I'm done with those, I can see exactly what your normal uh, curvature should be compared to what yours is right now with the red line. So normally on most people have five lumbar vertebrae, but if you count, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Robert has six lumbar vertebrae, and we wouldn't know that unless we took x-rays. Good to know. Can you show over here first yeah. for the adjustment? We're going to check your posture from the outside, some static this posture. Face, yep. face up, right okay. on the line, toes on the line. Now your head up and down a few times, eyes closed. Look straight ahead. I'm going to check some posture here. I'm going to check to see if you're twisting at your hips or your rib cage. Check this thing here. A little rotation here. You should be over the heels. That's good. Ahead. And that head shift that we're talking about over to the right, so we gotta get that head shift over to the left. So, we're gonna do some posture adjustments on the table. We're also gonna do some manual adjustments here. Let's have your face down first, Rob. L1, L2 is the same spot, kind of like my spine, where you flex forward. Remember right here, so those nerves go to supply energy to your legs and your feet. Anybody, if you have any numbness tingling, like we talked about on your left side, which you do, and you have the leg length discrepancy, those are all gonna affect the nerves that come here and into your legs, as well as the organs into your pelvis here. So when you bend, you bend here on the low back and the rib cage bends to the right. That's also gonna put more pressure down into your leg and to the left side. So we wanna get some more motion there. I'm just gonna push this up a little bit. Good. So you're gonna feel a little motion here. Good, and that one beep noise just lets us know that that joint is moving it's in sync with the other ones around it. Good. Awesome. Good, chin up, bed. So we're gonna do one posture adjustment here. What I'm gonna do is 
you're gonna try to round like you're doing a cat stretch right here, try to round your mid-back, push up into my hand like you're rounding, not so relax these arms and try to push into my hand. It's almost as you were trying to push up this way. There you go, hold that. I'm gonna put a little pressure on here. You're gonna put the table drop down like that. Okay, hold there, hold there. Good, let's do it again. Keep trying to round here, give me that. There you go, hold that. Thanks, keep relax. Go ahead. Nice and easy. Good. Good. Nice. And then we'll get you on the other side. Let's go a little closer towards me. Let's pull it on through. Head in place. Good. Let's scoot you a little bit. Very good. And a little bit farther. Good. Relax. Nice. One more time. A little higher. Nice. And now let's get you up. Keep your head just flexed for this one. Try to round your upper back a little bit more. Perfect. Deep breath in. Breathe all the way out. All the way out. Nice. And then go ahead and keep your shoulder neutral. Try to push your head down as far as you can. Good. Remember that exercise. Try to shift your head lead with your ear. Push it down. As you can see, his head is shifted to the left of his sternum here. And normally his head shifted forward. Opposite of what his body is used to. And really try to pull that left shoulder down. Too. Pull it down, engage it. There you go. Now try to push your ear into the table as far as you can. Keep pushing. I'm going to put a little pressure here. One more time. Keep pushing down, 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 down. Nice. And then let's get you on your back. Those and ligaments, they all have uh, sensors on them as well as on your skin to tell you where your body is in space. And when we get you shifted over, that position that helps your brain remember those positions. Eyes closed. I'm gonna check that posture again. I'll make sure they are not twisting at all. Good. Root cage is you're around and caging your root cage in. And then eyes open. And then look up for me. Right there. So try to round here. That's good. The head posture looks looks a lot even more straight on it mm -hmm. from the front here. Your head was shifted way over to the right after doing those drops to the left. Your head is left more even. How long that's going to last is not going to be that long in the beginning, but we really have to train those muscles as well as stretch those ligaments to get in that right position. That's a good start for now. The exercises we got to still work on with your head, Rob. So, C6, 7, we can do that. So, right in your neck, right here, Rob. These lower joints, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here, where we place mm -hmm. the block, the general. You're a little taller, so I'd probably go with the large, right? You lay down, we'll get this neck general set up for you first. And for you, big traps here. This is gonna be just below your traps. So you have some bigger traps here. So, that's a heavier. There you go. Do you feel that? Right? This big meat yeah. of traps, I want it to be just about, just below it, maybe about an inch below it. And you'll feel that and your head will just barely touch. Yeah. You feel that. And then you'll tap your arms in a hug. I want to create some of this rounding. Remember, you're really flat here, down here. So this block will actually help to create some more rounding in your upper back while creating some more curve in your neck. A lot more blood flow into the neck here, helping with energy levels there and also remember your head shifts to the right i'm going to have you even preset yourself like you're doing your head shift to the left and then just let your head fall good so it looks pretty centered there and then that would be the, the neck setup on separate or we can have you try to bridge up all the way i'm gonna have you bend your knees first like you try to bend your knees one at a time oh no no like so you're mm. yep so you're on them and i'm gonna have you do a hip test so you lift your hips all the way up in there can you do that Here's your ribs, one, two, come down slowly. Where are you placing it? About a couple inches, T12L1. Okay. 
So it's pretty high for him, and these are pretty close. So slowly, can you, is your low back allowed to touch? Mm -hmm. Slowly? Okay. Lower your butt touch? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Lower the legs? That's good. Um, yep. Yeah. You're good. And then you can slow it. Good. So this would be just a couple inches above your last ribs, two to three inches above your last ribs right here to hit the L1, T12, that level for you, as well as C6, 7, which is going to be about eight. Or mm -hmm. like hold a weight plate here and you're going right. to add more pressure. You'll feel it in your spine there. I'm lay here all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you do that. It's about consistency and time under tension. Um, I'm going to so, give it just a second just to play here. Yeah, kinda... you can do about three minutes here. Yeah. Do three minutes for you first. Awesome. So just finished your adjustments. We had your x-rays, marked them up, got you adjusted. We gave you some home care exercises as well as home care tools for you to help strengthen, stretch and strengthen yourself in the right position. Um, so that will conclude our appointment here today. We're just going to make sure you keep on tabs with doing all your home care and getting in the office too. How was that experience for you? Yeah, I mean, I feel a lot better immediately, but I'm just also looking forward to maintaining that progress going forward. So I appreciate you having us in the office, man. All right, thanks, brother. Hell yeah. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I know this one was a little bit longer today, but I really just want to walk you through the process of my recovery plan and also give you guys some ideas on where you can turn to if you're having some similar issues, whether that be sports-related injuries, nerve pain, back pain, those sorts of things. So stay tuned for some more content. Definitely going to be bringing a variety of this channel. All right, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.